What if I wasn't a developer the last 10 years? I mean, I started in 2011. Now we're in 2021. We're about to go to 2022. So it's been basically 10 years I've been doing this. And I decided, you know what? Let's make it interesting. Let's go in and look over, you know, the type of jobs that I've had, right? And compare those type of jobs, you know, with me being a web developer now, uh, the, last, the last 10 years. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it, okay? So, I'm going to go in and share my screen real quick with you guys. What if I wasn't a web developer the last 10 years, okay? This is what we have right here, okay? So, let's get started. Some people say, sweep in the barbershop. <laughs> I'd probably be, you know, cutting hair somewhere. You're sweeping up the barbershop, right? I'm a regular dude. I'm just a regular dude, just like everybody here. And again, there's nothing wrong with this type of jobs. You know, this is something that, shoot, is a possibility. I actually was thinking about becoming a barber at one time, okay? Shoot, I'm Dominican. We nice with it, okay? <laughs> Somebody say, a drift, uh, <laughs> driving a, 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 a lift, right? I could have been an Uber driver. I could have been like, yo... Where you want to go next? <laughs> right? And it, it, shoot, it's a possibility. I actually got my uh, my license, my, my E-class license in, in New York City at the time. And I actually did this job, not as a Lyft driver or Uber driver. I did uh, basically limousine driving. Um, and, and, and I did it for a week. It's the worst job. 12 hours a day. It was horrible. It was in my car. So I rented a car. I had to pay for it pay for gas. When I got home, I got like $50 in my pocket after doing 12 hours. And that's the truth, right? So that could have been a possibility. Shoot. I could have said, you know, I got the license. I could do Lyft. I could do Uber, right? Uh, someone said, working in a bodega, right? I'm Dominican. They say, yo, yo puppy, let me get a chopped cheese. And like, I, I got you, my guy. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Shoot. There's a million possibilities infinite possibilities of where I could have been, you know, the last 10 years, if I didn't learn how to code, right? And, you know, be where I'm at right now, right? And we're going to get into a little bit more about that in a second. But let's go to the next one, right? Which is retail job, right? So this is a job that I used to do, you know, just like everybody here, you know, when you're young, you, you work in the malls, you work in the supermarkets, right? You know, the average person working at, at a retail job is making, you know, 30, 40 K. So let's just say in a 10 year span, and I just continue in that world of working in retail, most likely I would have made around like 40 K per year, right? In 10 years, that's about $400,000. That's $400,000, right? In 10 years. Now for some people, <laughs> that's crazy that people survive of that, but believe it or not, yeah, there's a lot of people earning this much and sometimes even less, okay? Because you can see it on the statistics, you see, you know, uh, certain neighborhoods, certain areas where people are earning, you know, even less than that, you know, $14,000, $15,000 a year, you know, $28,000, right? Sometimes they got to do two jobs to be able to make even $40,000. So this is something that's real, right? If I would have continued with that and I didn't learn how to code, okay? IT worker, this was another possibility for me. I did go to school. I went to community college. I went to LaGuardia Community College in, in Queens. Queens, New York, right? Some of you guys can relate, right? A BS degree, right? Uh, <laughs> and somehow you're like, hey, man, you're going to get a degree. You're going to make a lot of money. It's like, nah, you make okay money. Now, this could be, you know, again, this is the average, right? Because being an IT worker, you don't even start at 72. You start like at 40-something. Right. And trust me, I'm telling you from experience, because when I graduated and I look at my check, it's like, yo, hold on. I thought I was going to be making a lot of money. I got a degree. Not really, my guy. You start at 45 if you're lucky. And if you have to be like IT support, you might get like thirty eight thousand starting. Right. OK, so in 10 years, that's about seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars, you know, for the 10 years, which in reality is not much. It's OK. It's good to get by, especially if you have, you know, a wife, right? Or you have other people that work in, in the same household. Sure, you could, you know, 
live a little bit more comfortably or maybe you live with roommates and things like that but it's not really something that's like life changing or like you're living like a strapping lifestyle you're surviving in the world okay so that could have been a possibility now i want you guys to guess right now in the last 10 years right in the last 10 years how much do you think i've made in the last 10 years now i know we have some people here live this is actually a, a live stream most of you guys that's watching this on the replay you might be wondering is this live yeah it's live at the moment okay so let me go in and, and, and allow the people that's here right uh give me some some numbers how much you think i've made in 10 years okay give me give me give me an average right give me an average right give me an average give me an average give me some numbers right and be realistic be realistic right okay so some people say 10 years 1.5 million uh 2.3 uh kw says uh two mil somebody uh, one billy somebody said <laughs> i wouldn't be here my guy <laughs> i'll be somewhere in in in, in, in a beach somewhere <laughs> hanging out with jess jeff bezos jeff <laughs> Jess, <laughs> me and Jess Bezos, right? <laughs> if there is a Jess, right? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Bezos has a sister. Me and Jess will be chilling. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, yeah. So let's actually go in and give you the real numbers, right? So as a web developer, on average, I've made $200,000 a year, right? Now, again, remember I told you guys, we're doing averages. $200,000 a year is not what I make today. $200,000 a year is the average when we combine all of the income. And I'll be honest with you guys. The first year, it wasn't nothing crazy. It's about like, you know, 60 grand, right? From there, the second year, you know, it's like 70, 80 grand, right? And it continued to go up little by little, right? But on the fifth year mark, of me being a developer, not only just working full time, but also diversifying my income by getting side income in, you know, uh, niche websites, right? Getting freelance clients, right? Um, and just building things to make income with, right? And then also too, the things that we do now, even, even like, you know, the platforms that we have, codingphase.com, we have 87 Lux where we're doing, you know, things like digital products, selling themes and, and things like that on total, right? It's like an average of about $200,000 per year. Okay. That's the average. Okay. Now we've definitely hit a way higher mark and that kind of, you know, fills it in for all the other, uh, years that I wasn't making that much in the beginning, but shoot, that's a big increase, right? I mean, if we go into the idea of, guess what? Maybe I never went to college, right? Maybe I just said, I'm not going to college no more, right? I'm not into school. I'm not going to do this thing, right? I'm not trying to educate myself. Shoot, I'm good with a GED, right? Maybe I would have just stayed right there. Retail job, you know, working in a warehouse, right? This type of jobs that pay you, you know, $40,000, $45,000 a year. And that's if you got a good job. Because if they start you off, if you get fired from one, you got to start from the bottom. <laughs> you got to build yourself up and, and try to get a little more increase on your next job, right? So that's like $400,000 for 10 years of your life, okay? Same thing with IT worker, right? This is $720,000 for 10 years of your life, okay? Now, going back to web developer, right? This is $2 million for 10 years. Okay, two million, and again, the last five years I've made way above two hundred thousand. I'm just giving you guys the average, right? So it's been really damn good for me becoming a web developer, and I tell you guys this because I think it's important to people for people to see like the real numbers and how this thing can actually affect you in the long term and you know can help you build wealth, right? You know, when I became a web developer, I didn't become a web developer because I just, I woke up one day and be like, 
golly, like one day I'm going to become a web developer. Like now nah, I looked at this as a job, same way how, when I went to apply for a retail job, same way how I apply for an IT job, this is a job. But the beauty of it is not just getting the job because you could get a $60,000 job, $80,000 job, $100,000 job, $200,000 job, right? That's fine. That's cute. But it's the power of being able to create, having a skill that you can actually create things, right? This is like the way how I look at this is the ability to create gold, right? Because to be honest with you, you could easily just work. And you'll have a, a pretty decent lifestyle, right? And you're going to be fine, right? Most uh, developers were probably like in, in the top percent of like higher, you know, earners and, you know, software engineers, et cetera, right? Anybody that programs, anybody that's in the tech industry pretty much makes bread, okay? Um, but it's the, the, the fact that you have this power to be able to create. So it's not just like I'm depending on a job. But it's the fact that, guess what? Now I know how to do these things and I could work for somebody if I don't want to take the risk of building my own company or I just, I'm lazy. If I'm lazy, the safest route that you can take is literally get a job. That's the safest thing that you could do. And the beauty of it is like, shoot, even on the safest route and the easiest way of you actually using your skills by just getting a job, like you're still good. You're still good. On average, most developers will probably make about $2 million in 10 years or, you know, probably say 150, uh, you know, 150,000 per year, you know, or like, let's say even a little bit less. Right. But that's better than, you know, 400,000, right? 400,000 out of 10 years of your life. Right. And of course you can continue to grow. This right here, you're not growing much. You're always going to be depending on a job. You're always going to be depending on somebody got to give you, you know, a, a, a raise. You're not doing this on, on, on your off time, right? And you might say, well, I'm going to do consulting and this isn't. You need connections for that, my guy. <laughs> you need to network. You need to do a lot of stuff to be able to be able to be like a consulting as an IT worker, right? As a retail job, you, 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 you work at Walmart. You get what I'm saying? You work at whatever Publix, you work at, uh, you know, at Armani Exchange on the mall, you work in Macy's, you work on Full Locker, right? For you to become manager, even if you decide to go in that route, you still not even making no money like that, okay? For me, what I love about being a web developer is the fact that I have the skills that I can go and create. And I've shown this so many times, right? When I was working full time as a developer, I was freelancing on Craigslist, hitting, you know, old desk, you know, hit what now I think is they call it Upwork, right? Uh, going into uh, people, you know, in my neighborhood and be like, hey, man, you need a website. Guys do music. They, they rap. Shoot, I build them a WordPress website. I make $800 from, of that. And like grinding, like every single month I grind to make extra income using the same skills that I was already getting paid with as a developer at a full time job right? Doing each websites, which allowed me to quit my job as a full-time developer, right? I was basically creating these sites, getting money from affiliate marketing, getting money from advertisement, right? Every time that somebody comes into my, my websites, I got paid. And me doing that, you know, five years later, six years later, I was able to say, toodles, I don't work for nobody no more. Who do you know that is doing IT <laughs> retail jobs that can say toodles, I ain't working no more, right? Because those are not really like positions and, 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 and things that you can really just go in and branch off a lot of times. Sometimes you might say, well, he worked in retail, he saved up some money and opened up his own store. That's a possibility, right? He was doing IT work and he did it for uh, a few years. And now he has his own consulting agency, whatever it might be. That's a possibility. But what I can tell you for sure is that the skills that I have as a web developer, I use them shits every day, every single day to make income. When I sleep, I make income on, you know, you know, programming and, and just things that I've done. Right. 
you know, we have this website for those of you guys that don't know and, and anybody that that's visiting right now or watching this channel, go check out the website, codingphase.com, right? This is another way of me making income. There's no way around it. We can't mask it up. We can't put it, you know, make up this whole thing up. You know what I mean? Like, this is facts. This is something that I also make income with. But then we have the niche websites. Then we have the agency. There's so many different income streams that I have, which is crazy. But it all comes down to the fact that I learned to code. Now, again, if you want to learn how to code, you could go check out codingphase.com. Learning to code has never been easier since codingphase.com dropped. Okay, you could check out the website. Over 60 courses for $20, right? And, of course, you got the Diamond Membership, $75. Um, if you want 45% and up, uh, you know, discounts, like literally go and sign up for the yearly if you want to learn how to code, right? Now, getting back to what, uh, what I was saying, like, you know, we could have been anything. We could have been any of these, right? Working in the bodega, you know, making sandwiches. Hey, what you want, my guy? Uh, let me get a couple of, you know, give me $2 of, of ham, right? Uh, give me, uh, you know, $2 of mustard cheese. Some lettuce and tomato and a little bit of salt and vinegar. And I would have been like, all right, I got you, my guy. Go in there and make my sandwiches. You get what I'm saying? Could have been a drift lot, a freaking lift driver. Like, <laughs> this is facts. Hey, I actually, I actually has the li have the license for being a, a, a lift driver, <laughs> which is crazy to me. Okay, uh, sweeping the barbershop. And, and I'll be honest, sometimes this type of jobs are even more fun. But, you know, because I, I, I'm not going to lie, I would have loved to work at a barbershop at, at one point, right? When I was like 18, 19 years old, I used to go to barbershops, not even to get a haircut. I'm in there. I got a haircut yesterday. I'm showing up to the barbershop just to listen to the music, listen to the conversations. You know what I mean? Like, yo, who's better, Kobe or, or, or Jordan? Uh, LeBron is coming up. What he going to do? I mean, I remember those moments, right? So, yeah, and they're fun. And, and I'm not trying to you know, bring down any other positions and jobs and careers that's out here. I'm just saying like, there's a big difference between, you know, 400, 720,000 and $2 million. 